Uncle Steve here, Forsaken Lee Departed. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, getting out of the house for a little bit. I uh, attempted to leave a couple of days ago, and I was only a few miles away when the water pump on my truck broke. And apparently, somebody was watching out for me because I was literally 300 feet away from where my mechanic is. So I just drove it in there and I gotta tell you within 24 hours they put a new water pump in and all is good. Here I am. So we're gonna head on but wait a minute I gotta pull over and get some gas so uh, just bear with me a moment. All right, New Jersey is one of the two states in the United States that are full service gas stations. It's New Jersey and Oregon. Everywhere else, you have to pump your own gas. So, when I leave the state, I know to get out of the car, pay for my gas, and pump it myself. If you're out of state and come to New Jersey, you're not allowed to do that. They will serve you. All right. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. Everybody is uh, keeping their social distance. This guy I usually deal with, he's usually a chatterbox, but not today. So, all right, let's go. And uh, you probably don't hear me anymore because the truck is so loud. But uh, let's uh, go on our journey and uh, do what we were supposed to do a couple of days ago. Well, I made a wrong turn because I didn't use GPS. But the good thing is I'm only a mile out of my way, so not so bad. I'm backtracking now and uh, we're gonna get back on the road. Okay. Unimproved road. Travel at your own risk when snow covered, icy, or muddy. Uh, something tells me that this road will turn into an unpaved road. But uh, let's let's move further. Ah, look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. All right. This is an unpaved road, but it is quite flat. Definitely bumpy. Uh, I guess like you what you would call potholes on a tarred surface. But uh, I don't need four-wheel drive. Feel that? Oh yeah, there you go. That's nice. Yeah. Do you feel that? Let's see what's up here. Uh, but I'm supposedly on the road where I'm supposed to be. Can't go very fast. Rock formations there. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm approaching a uh, three minute light. It is a long light. And we got the green light. Let's go. Well, I'm here. I just got to take a little hike to where I need to be. Um, I'm going to show you a little history here. Um, if you haven't figured it out by the dam, 
I gotta watch my step here. I'm at uh, Split Rock. That was the Split Rock Reservoir that we passed. And uh, what we're approaching here is gonna be the Split Rock Furnace. Um, it's the last of its kind in New Jersey. Hi, how are you? And uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it once we get there. That's the Split Rock Furnace, located just below the concrete dam of Split Rock Reservoir. It was built in 1862 by Andrew B. Cobb. It's 32 feet tall, that's just less than 10 meters, and a charcoal filled stone furnace built to smelt magnetite ore. I hope I said that right. Well, anyway, it's a grayish black magnetic mineral that consists of an oxide of iron and they used it during the Civil War. 1862 was in the height of the Civil War at that time. Sadly, the furnace operated for only about 10 years. What you're looking at here is a piece of history because it's the last of its kind built in New Jersey, representing the end of an era of charcoal furnaces. It's a beautiful thing. I'm glad I found it. Well, there you have it, the Split Rock Furnace, last of its kind in New Jersey. So uh, I enjoyed uh, seeing this. It was a nice uh, little treat to get away from the house for a little while. And if you did enjoy it the same, please give me a thumbs up on that, all right? And don't forget to subscribe to my Forsakenly Departed YouTube channel. And of course, visit my website, ForsakenlyDeparted.com. I'm going to be off. I think I'm going to head home and uh, get cleaned up here. And uh, we'll see you on our next adventure, all right? Peace.